Hello friends, this video on natural resources part 24 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. But as we all know that excess of anything is not good. Now if the cons if the concentration or if the uh, amount of carbon dioxide starts increasing too much or if the amount of greenhouse gases start to increase too much then the greenhouse effect will also increase so the temperature of the earth will increase too much so that will again cause too much of warming of the earth which is what we call as global warming so over increase in the temperature of the earth's surface due to the action of greenhouse gases now again, if the temperature increases too much, that will also become a problem for the survival of life forms. So therefore, we need to make sure that the greenhouse gases are present only in the desired quantities, not more. So if we look at the past records, in the last 100 years, the average temperature of the earth has increased by 0 0.6 degrees Celsius. So if you look at it, in the last 100 years, the temperature has increased by 0 0.6 degree Celsius. Now, you it, it might seem a very small increase in 100 years, but if we look at it even more closely, we see that actually this entire increase has taken place only in the last 30 years. So before that, the uh, initial 70 years, there were there was not much change in the temperature, but only in the last 30 years, this increase of 0 0.6 in degree Celsius has happened, which is really, really alarming. So if the temperature keeps on increasing in this fashion, then the day is not far where existence of life on the earth would also be uh, a question mark. Now, what are the causes of global warming? Why the greenhouse gases are increasing so much? Increased use of fossil fuels because burning of fossil fuels release a lot of carbon dioxide. So when we are releasing so much of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere, what is happening? The amount of greenhouse gases is increasing. So the greenhouse effect is increasing. Deforestation cutting down so many trees. What's happening? So what do trees do? So trees take up carbon dioxide for photosynthesis. So they basically utilize carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. But if there are no trees, what will happen? There is, there is nobody who is utilizing the carbon dioxide for photosynthesis. So all the carbon dioxide will accumulate in the atmosphere. So again, the same thing will happen. The amount of carbon dioxide will increase. Too much excess of carbon dioxide will be there in the atmosphere. Therefore, greenhouse effect will increase. Overpopulation. So overpopulation means need for everything increases. So you need more furniture. So for that you are cutting down more forests. You need more energy sources. So you are using more and more fossil fuels. You are burning more fossil fuels. So overpopulation is like a common cause for all of these problems. Now when you look at the harmful effects of global warming, they are also huge. Now, when the average temperature of the earth increases, then the melting of ice glaciers, mountains or ice sheets is inevitable. And this melting will result in destruction of living organisms or ecosystem of those regions. Because even in these ice glaciers or mountains, a huge number of living organisms survive there. So when these regions will melt down, so all those organisms will also get lost rise in sea level now this can even submerge the coastal areas increased precipitation so which is basically increased rainfall and snowfall higher probability of flood too much of rainfall will result in floods and too much of water everywhere due to melting of polar ice caps so when floods become common so floods result in destruction of houses property lives and you know there would be destruction all around with so much of water everywhere so there is an entire change in ecosystems now when certain regions get completely destructed then what happens the entire balance of the ecosystem gets spoiled Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four-step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.